In this question, we need to figure out the car's acceleration when it reaches point B. First, we need to figure out the radius of curvature. Since we are given the equation, we can start by taking the first and second derivative because we need those values to plug into the radius of curvature equation. So let's do the first derivative first. Using this, we can figure out the second derivative. Now we can plug it into our equation. The question states that x equals 50 when s equals 51.5. So we need to substitute the x value to figure out the radius of curvature. Remember, distances cannot be negative. Now we need to figure out the velocity of the car at point B. To do that, we need to use the equation given to us in the question and substitute the s value. The normal acceleration can be found using this equation. Let's plug in what we know. Now we need to find the tangential acceleration. We can use this formula and isolate it for a. Then we can use the given equation in the question. Since we need the acceleration of the car at point B, we need to substitute 51.5 meters into this equation. The magnitude of acceleration can be found using this equation. Let's plug in the values we found and solve, which gives us our answer. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please comment below.